Most of you love the performance of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, enjoying smooth web browsing and an excellent gaming experience. But wait, do I hear a more significant boost in performance with the Galaxy S24 Ultra? They say bigger is better. Let's see what it will bring to the table. Join us in the video for more details. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra vs Galaxy S24 Ultra The 120Hz refresh rate of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra was pretty decent. Overall performance was excellent. Although the performance is great on the gaming side not so good. There is a bit of lag in the frames per second, which doesn't affect your gaming if you aren't an enthusiast. But for game lovers, it might be a turn off. Rumors are that the S24 Ultra might come with a 144Hz refresh rate, meaning the phone will have smoother and faster gaming, web browsing, and overall general performance. This was just so great. For instance, when working with multiple tabs on your browser, you will not experience any lags whatsoever, and running apps in the background simultaneously will not affect the phone's performance. The design and display features have mostly stayed the same. We expect to see the 6.8 inches dynamic AMOLED with 1440x3088 resolution. This looked good on the S23 Ultra and would undoubtedly look good on the upcoming S24 Ultra. But an upgrade is always welcome for an exciting user experience. Talking about exciting user experience, Samsung has decided to upgrade the storage options for the S23 Ultra. Storage and Ports For the internals, the Galaxy S23 Ultra came with 8GB of RAM, which might be sufficient for others. But 8GB RAM is too small for a high-end phone of this nature, especially if you can afford only the base model. Just that time you need to store the memories you made with that special someone, you get a notification your memory is full. Then you are torn between deleting old pictures to make room for new ones, which is very heartbreaking. This is sad. Very sad only. The S24 Ultra is speculated to come with a higher memory of 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM to make things easier in terms of storing vital information. And the same goes for the storage options as well. The S23 Ultra came with 256 storage that was quiet enough to keep away those pictures and TikTok videos. The only disadvantage was that the storage was non-expandable, so you couldn't upgrade, which was a worry for users who consume a lot. But I hope the storage options will be expandable so we can have more space to work with. For the port selection, there are no significant improvements there. You will still get no headphone jack, water resistance certified, face ID unlock, and the fast and responsive fingerprint sensor for both models. It is too early to predict the color options for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but the same colors as last year's model wouldn't be bad at all, especially the Phantom Black. It gives off this sophisticated look that everyone falls for. Let's take a look at what is happening on the processor side, shall we? Oh yes, of course. Processor. The main difference comes in the chipset each of them has. The S23 Ultra housed the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which delivers impressive performance. Please subscribe to the channel for more up-to-date reviews when the Galaxy S24 Ultra is out. You wouldn't want to miss it for anything. Better web browsing. Playing games is smooth and efficient, and streaming videos online are fast, but not as efficient as the one the S24 Ultra is coming with. But the good news is the Galaxy S24 Ultra will come with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, which is speculated to come with 3% better single-core performance, 15% better multi-core performance, 20% more efficiency, and offer up to 3.7 GHz clock speed, and will have 50% more boost in the GPU aspect than the Gen 2. This will imply that you will get a faster app launch, smooth web browsing, and top-notch performance. There will be no lags when using the phone, even under an intense workload. This is an upgrade that befits an ultra phone. A processor with these qualities needs a powerful battery to run efficiently, and we will be talking about that in an instant. Battery and Camera The 5000 mAh battery of the Galaxy S23 Ultra could last 18 hours on everyday use, which was impressive because it can last you for a day. Under intense workload, you might want to keep your charger by you because you will need it. 
Although the Galaxy S24 Ultra has not yet been released, rumor has it that it's coming with the same battery capacity as last year. It's not bad, but a little upgrade will be appreciated so we can go days without charging Tiger with the wireless, reverse, and fast charging capabilities. So let me tell you, the battery life on this phone is actually, it's been incredible. Like, it's really, really good. So it's the 5,000 milliamp hour cell again. Shouldn't be a surprise. But with this huge screen, I guess it kind of is actually a surprise. I had a two day period at 120 hertz, but 1080p, where the only time I charged it was on the wireless charger in my car on the way to and from the studio for like the 40 minutes that that drive is. I didn't charge it overnight or anything like that. Two full packed days of high brightness, high intensity, normal use for me has something like eight and a half hours of screen on time. I'm in bed at like 11 p.m. at the end of the second day, streaming on YouTube live, watching LeBron break Kareem's record. It's still got like 10% left, it just won't die. So combine this excellent battery life with a pretty solid 45 watt charging that can go zero to 100 in an hour, plus wireless charging, and you've got yourself a battery monster. It's super good. The next feature we will be talking about is the camera specifications. I can smell something cooking around that feature. The 200 megapixels wide camera of the S23 Ultra could take very quality pictures. What you see is what you get. The 100x zoom was pretty decent, but could get grainy when stretched that far. Like its predecessor, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will have a periscope zoom camera capable of 150x digital zoom, a higher upgrade than the S23 Ultra. Moving on, other information about the Galaxy S24 Ultra includes an upgraded periscope zoom camera. Heist Universe didn't mention what exactly he meant by that, but it could mean two things. Samsung could either use a continuous zoom camera, which enables them to click lossless zoom photos at non-native zoom levels. The S23 Ultra takes amazing zoom photos at 3x and 10x mode, but anything in between, the quality suffers a bit. But that won't be the case with the S24 Ultra. Or Samsung could increase the zoom levels to say 150x instead of 100x, taking the zooming to a whole new level. Since Samsung has experimented with the 100x digital zoom already, the picture quality was a bit compromised at that zoom length. It was a bit grainy, so we won't be surprised to see the 150x digital zoom, hoping it doesn't compromise the quality of pictures or videos. We can only make assumptions for now, but time will tell, and we are waiting patiently. With all these top-end features, what will happen to the price then? How? Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra price. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is currently going for $1,199 for the base model. Then the Galaxy S24 Ultra will be somewhere around $1,600 considering the high-end specifications it's coming with. This price is bound to change though. But do the price and the specs mentioned above go together? Leave us a comment in the comment section below. If yes, we want to know your reasons, and if not your reasons. For the release date, we are expecting between January and February 2024 if everything goes on well and Samsung sticks to its schedule. Enough of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. What does the Galaxy S23 Ultra have installed for us? Want to know more? Check out our next video on the S23 Ultra for more details. Until next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.